well, hypomagnesemia, which is low levels of magnesium in the blood, going to be less than 1.5 milligram per deciliter. And it's a potentially serious condition that may be difficult to recognize due to non-specific manifestations. Magnesium depletion usually results from inadequate intake plus impairment of renal conservation or gastrointestinal absorption. This common nutritional deficiency may be seen in many conditions, which include malnourished patients. We can see it on elderly patients, for example. Chronic alcoholics, we will talk about this more on next slides. We can see it in diabetics, patients on medications such as loop diuretics, specific antibiotics, and pro proton pump inhibitors. Patients with prolonged diarrhea. And mild signs of hypomagnesemia are generalized vagueness, fatigue, nausea, and vomiting. As deficiency progresses, patients may complain of numbness, cramping, and dysphagia. We can see increased deep tendon reflexes and fasciculations. If hypomagnesemia is an acute and onset and are severe, Patients may develop altered mental status, seizures, or cardiac conduction abnormalities. Low magnesium levels also have the potential to affect other electrolyte levels. For example, in patients with hypomagnesemia, we can see hypokalemia, which is low levels of potassium in the blood, and hypocalcemia, which is low levels of calcium in the blood. We said that we will talk about alcohol, and let's talk about it. Alcohol consumption increases the loss of magnesium in the urine and decreases the uptake in the liver. Alcoholics are frequently malnourished, which predisposes them to magnesium deficiency as well. In order to treat hypomagnesemia, we generally use oral magnesium therapy, but in some cases, we can use intravenous magnesium and in severe symptoms, we can use it 